What is going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, man. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know I've been gone for a while, but I needed some time to like refresh, <sighs> revitalize myself, man. I feel better than ever. I was out with the kids, spent a lot of time with them this week over the weekend. But we're back at it again with the videos, man. Okay. Anyways, man. So uh, I did a video a while back about the Philippines. You know, you know. Well, I did a lot of videos about the Philippines, but this one, the Philippines, and the army, man. The army video. So apparently. You guys are trying to tell me, yo, the Philippines got some of the best shooters in the world as well. Like, like snipers, man. I'm like, okay, okay. So one of you guys sent me this video and told me, yo, Kevin, you need to check this out, man. Do a reaction to it. Let me see what you do. Let me see what you think about it and share it to you, you know, you guys who haven't, made it, haven't seen the video. Okay? Anyways, man, before we get in the video, make sure you guys give the video a big thumbs up. All right? And let's get in. Let, let, let's go. Aim to be world-class champions. Target is to be the finest marksman. At the Marksman Training Center, this is the mindset of every soldier. I think what it has to do, a lot of Filipinos are so proud, man. Even, the, the, like I said, the army people, they are extremely proud of the country. They want to serve their country. That's why they always go for their best, whatever they do, whatever they do. Like, look at this. Look at this. This is amazing, man. This is amazing. Look at, look at the dedication they put into this, man. Look at that. Are you guys seeing this, man? That is crazy. This is crazy what the Filipinos do over there. Wow, defense, security. That is amazing. The Philippine Army is home to the best shooters who have distinguished themselves not only in local competitions, but in international competitions as well. At the Marksman Training Center in Camp O'Donnell, Kapastarlak. Camp O'Donnell. Don't just okay. become sharpshooters. They are home to become world-class marksmen. So, yung magiging part ng Malunod Black, uh, of course, uh, maging shooter ka. Tapos, ang um, meron din nga, uh, ang pwede lang magsuot dito. He wants to have the patch. Yung naka-abroad. Isa ka na sa nakuha. You see what I just said, man? They are proud. He, this guy wants his patch and he wants to show it proudly on his shoulder, man. God, so much, so proud. Ground, at ikaw ang magre-represent dito nga sa ASEAN Army Rifle Mate. Captain Jose Carlos Coruña is one of the trainees yearning for this badge. Their marksmanship this guy skills looks really are really young, man. He looks really young. Here and abroad. To be able to earn the Manonuda patch, you have to undergo the basic marksmanship training, advanced marksmanship training, and you need to be able to pass the marksmanship trainers training courses for both pistol and rifle. And then you must be able to represent the country That's right. in any international shooting tournament. Oh, it's tournaments. You need to be able to wear the Manonuda. The Philippine Army shooting team has won the most coveted trophy in the 2014 Australian Army Skills at Arms Meeting. What? There's I did not know that. Holy, did you, any of you guys know? I did not know that. Did you guys know that? Because I didn't know that, man. Let me know in the comments if you guys knew that the Philippines, like, won that tournament, man. Because that's crazy to know that. Woo! Team has defeated the best shooters from the armed forces of the United States and 12 other countries. Uh, ngayon, ang sinasalian ngayon ng team dito is yung tinatawag na ASAM, BISAM, at saka yung A-ARM, Army ASEAN Rifle Meet. Yung ASAM ang sumasali doon, mga first world country. Nag-world champion na tayo doon. Natalo natin yung Amerika, wow. British, Canada. So yun ang nagpatunay. Oh my na God! class na rin itong team na ito. The ASAM is an annual shooting competition among different units what? of the Australian Army. Aimed to showcase the marksmanship of participating teams. One-handed. It also serves as a venue to exchange techniques and learn from each other. The Army team won 14 gold medals. 14 gold medals, man. 14 gold medals. That is insane. What? What? Man, I, I, I'm honestly like, I don't mess with like any of the Filipino army because you, you, don't, you, you don't know what you get into. That's what I'm saying. Do not mess with any of them because they could all be trained and man, that's it. Even the police officer. I don't mess with any police officer over there, man. At all. At all. Just listen to them and that's it. 50 silver medals and two bronze 50. medals of the team matches. Sa aming pagsali sa mga competition is napakalaking bagay na pinanghawakan namin ng karangalan ng ating bansa 
hindi lang sa aming sarili, sa aming mga saang unit, kung sa buong bandila ng Pilipinas. Wow, you guys well, seen all those damn battles on that table, man? Uh, in the oh my PA, god, that is a lot of damn medals. The National Police, the three major services, the Philippine Army Shooting Team emerged as the champions, and it is the Philippine Army Shooting Team that represents the country in international tournaments. So I am proud to say that the Marksmanship Training Center is the premier marksmanship training center of the armed forces of the Philippines. That's right. The Army team proud. It's very high level of marksmanship, making it equal to the other armies, not only in the ASEAN region, but also the whole world. At the Southeast Asian picture, uh, our toughest uh, our toughest uh, opponents would have to be the Indonesian toughest competition Thailand. is Indonesia and Thailand, man. Wow. Well, of course. Because they probably train just as hard as the Because of our training and our equipage, um, I would say that we are just at par. There's just a slight edge to equipment and, of course, ammunition. But training wise, okay. you know, we do not. You see, that's what I always say, man. The Philippines may not have like the best weapons or, or ships or whatever, man. But they have heart, man, and they train hard. They train so hard to make their country proud and protect their countries against all kind of threats, man. Whew. When I say they train hard, man, they train hard. But at the same time, they're some of the nicest people in the world, man. I'm telling you, they put a smile on your face like all the time because they, they have so much things that they're good at, man. There's so much things that are good at. And I just keep... Like, it blows my mind to think of all the things that the Filipino people are, are good at, man. Honestly, like, singing, performing, beauty pageants, and, and obviously, army. Fall far from first, second, and third place. We, we get first, second, or third sometimes, but hindi po tayo bumabagsak sa top That's how good your Philippine army shooting team is. Up yes, next, sir. what it takes to be an elite marksman. What does it take to be a lead? The Philippine Army implements the various Philippine training Army programs man. to further enhance training really the hard, skills of Make sure your soldier. weapons work right, cleaning your damn weapons, uh, and then team. doing it all and then, over and again. Ladies, tapos merong uh, carbine team, yun yung tinatawag na basic carbine melding rifle, tapos merong masigurad. Tapos sa stages, may kanya-kanyang stages naman, uh, uh, pistol, rifle, carbine, Iba ibang klasing discipline. Going through the marksmanship training is like taking a college degree. Four years bago magiging competitive. Uh, lahat Four years. So garo na nga yung pagkunta sila dito nagre-recruit kami ng Four potential years. Dito. Dito, ito, That's going to school like college. Leaders of the training are like snipers too when it comes to selecting target members. Sa ngayon meron kaming uh, mobile training team. Uh, umiikot sila nang tuturo. At isa yun sa pamamaraan na makakuha ng mga uh, potential shooter na pwedeng maging magaling na shooter. Challenge is their everyday ordeal. Yung una, yung sinabi mong gaano ka rigid. Wow. Oh my God. <laughs> advantage at disadvantage. Nandito na unang-una, maghapon kasi na training ko. So, kaya kung rigid, talagang rigid kasi araw-araw. My question is, are you, are you allowed to, like, can I wear army colors in the Philippines? Or is that, like, strictly banned? Because I know some countries are not allowed to wear any kind of army colors unless you actually wear army. So let me know in the comments down below if you actually allowed to wear army colors in the Philippines. Because I don't want to make a mistake and bring the army color clothes. Like, even this. This is like a desert sand kind of army color. I don't know if I'm allowed to wear this. One should load his gun with bullets of determination, passion, and discipline. Iba ito kasi, kumbaga ito na yung trabaho namin. We teach, then we shoot. Teach and we shoot. Instructor, we shoot, national one or international. So, exciting. Nakatulong kami sa kapasundalo, lalo yung mga, yung mga bagong pumapasok ng sundaluhan. Compared to other marksmanship training, scenario-based shooting applications are conducted in the training field. 
well the Ipsy and IDPA. I would actually love to see if this guy do like some paintball or airsoft kind of training to see how well they actually do the use of airsoft airsoft training, man. Because I know a lot of the American training, like army guys when they come here, they train with like airsoft and they go into the woods and actually have a big competition with airsoft. Distances for people. Are 300, 400 meters plus. The IDPA, the farthest would be about 50 meters. Lady Cadet Leia shifted from arrows to bullets. Dati po kasi akong archery, from, archer. From arrows to bullets. Ngayon, sa tingin ko, walang pinagkaiba yung pagiging archer sa shooting. Kaya trinay ko siya. Eh, nag-enjoy naman po ako hanggang yung skills ko parang uh, na-develop na siya. Hanggang sa yun, sumasay, sinasali na kami. Uh, pag may elimination, nakakapasa. Pag nakapasa ka sa elimination, automatic uh, mag-shoot ka ng abroad for competition. Dito po kasi, kailangan ng patience. That's a lot of kickback from those guns, man. Ka. Tell you. Uh, and nandun din yung skills. She too desires to be a top-notch shooter like the rest of the team. Sa akin kasi, uh, sumasali ako sa practical para makakuha ng uh, self-confidence ko para sa laban ko ng abroad. Ang pinakamahalaga is self-confidence and exposure. Anyone with perseverance can be an elite shooter. Sabi ko, medyo mahirap siguro, pero sabi nga nila, kung gusto, maraming paraan. Wow. Ayaw, maraming dahilan. So, pupunta tayo ngayon sa paraan kung yung mga sundalo na gusto pupunta rito, it's just a matter to, to coordinate, to commander, na gusto nilang pupunta rito. Merong mga coordination okay. na gano'n. Eh. So if, you, if you're interested in being, you know, any of you Filipino guy, guys over there in the army, you guys want to get into this, it's, it's really easy. It's really easy. It's just a matter of the commanders. They can go here. Okay, okay. 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 Okay, all right. Not only will it validate your skills as an individual soldier, but more importantly, it will give you the opportunity to represent your country, your country. in ways that the ordinary soldier can. So, for all of if you, if you want to be a proud, you're a proud Filipino soldier, you guys should definitely, definitely try to sell that and represent the Philippines in the national archery and all. I mean, the archery gun shows and all that stuff. Right? You are more than we are. We are going to be more than happy. To that is crazy, man. The Philippines Army, man. This is this is definitely one of the top, like, top armies in the world, man. Like, I, I didn't think that. Honestly, I wouldn't have thought that. Honestly, I would have thought, like, it would have been, like, you know, like, America, then probably, like, China, maybe South Korea, then Canada, and then, you know, all the others after that. But when you really think about it, man, the Philippines is, is a pretty damn powerful little country, man. Pretty damn powerful, and there's so many, so many Filipino people out there all around the world, man. There's Filipino people everywhere. I'm telling you, you turn your back, and there's a Filipino pe person right next to you. So I'm telling you, they're everywhere, and there's the thing about it with them. What I've no noticed, they are. I keep saying this every single time, man. They're very proud people. Even some of my friends, man, when they tell me, Kevin, do some videos, like, Kevin, do videos about this, and. The Filipino people will be so proud and excited about it because some of them don't know about it and then they share it and they want other Filipinos to know about like certain videos. That's why I like doing this stuff like this. Because I honestly share videos with other people that may have not seen it. Like some Filipino people haven't seen some videos that I've done. And then I read the comments and be like, wow, thank you for this. Or, you know, I read the messages about some of your, your, your family members, your brothers and sisters who served in Marawi. Like the Marawi, what happened there? And they told me that they, your family members gave their lives and we got to say thank you for that, man. Because that's a big thing, you know? You got to remember those people because they gave their lives for their country. That's why I keep saying that Filipino people are proud, man. Proud. Proud. Anyways, man, if you guys made it all the end of the video, you guys know what to do, man. Give the video a big thumbs up. If you guys absolutely love the video, don't be scared to hit that subscribe button. And if we're talking about Marawi, I'm actually going to be in Marawi. Marawi or Marawi? Marawi. I'm actually going to be there. That's somewhere I actually want to see when I come to the Philippines. A lot of people told me, yeah, Kevin, you probably shouldn't go there because it's not safe. But I just feel there's somewhere that I need to see and see my own self, like what happened, okay? That's just me, okay? But anyways, man, I'm out. Peace.
Sí, güey.